Well, it's peak ski season, but mountains across the country are bare with small white patches as record high temperatures this winter have resulted in a lack of snow. The main mountain for skiing in Tasmania hasn't operated ski lifts for weeks. This is what Ben Lamond Alpine Resort looked like on August 8th last year. And this is the mountain on the 8th of August this year. Look at that difference. Joining me now live is Ben Mock, Managing Director of the Ben Lamond Alpine Resort. Ben, thank you for joining us. How is it out there where you are? It's cold. It's currently uh, zero degrees and we're waiting for it to snow today um, and tonight and hopefully for the next couple of days. So it's uh, it's certainly cold. We were hopefully going to be broadcasting outside, but it was a little bit too cold uh, to do so. So we've had to move indoors. All right. It's cold. You're predicting snow. How confident are you that it's going to come? Very confident. I've been uh, looking at the weather forecast and models for the last couple of days. Uh, we're looking at getting anywhere between uh, 5 to 20 centimetres of snow. But uh, I'll tell you on Saturday when that arrives. So. Is that going to be enough? I mean, we just saw those two contrasting images taken 12 months ago and just recently. It looks bare out there. It, it does. Uh, we've installed snowmaking this year. We've uh, spent about half a million dollars putting in four snow guns. And for the last few nights, we've had uh, some really good cold temperatures to make snow down to around about minus five, minus five and a half. And it has allowed us to rebuild our base back out there. So as soon as we get this uh, nice bit of snow coming this week, we should be able to um, reopen our lifts for the first time in almost, it, it, almost a month. Well, that's some positive news. You've had to wait four weeks for it. Look, tell us, because you've had to install snow machines. Is this an unprecedented season for you? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, we've, we bought the business back in 2021 and we operated for 17 days in 21. Last year, we operated uh, for 20 days. And this year, with snowmaking, we've operated for around 31 days. So have, installing the snowmaking has dramatically increased our uh, operation days, but we haven't seen uh, snow conditions like this uh, for, for quite a while. So it is quite unusual in August, uh, late, late July to early August, uh, not to have anything on the ground. So it's a bit disappointing. Uh, we're not the only ones. Uh, the other mainland resorts are in the same boat as well. But gen generally August, we do seem to get those dumps that sort of help us out as well. Has it at all had an impact on tourism for the season? Uh, it, it has. A lot of Tasmanians uh, do decide to come up here the day before when there is snow on the ground. And we still get our tourists coming through and visiting and having a bit of a walk around and, and enjoying the snow play up here as well. But it has had a, a massive impact on our, on our turnover and the ability to hold staff as well. So we're all suffering. Staff are, are suffering as well. Um, and we just want to get back open uh, so we can employ them. They've got mouths to feed as well, so do we. And um, so hopefully we can get back up and running in the next couple of days. And do you think that there will be enough, I guess, reliable snow between now and the end of the season to bring back that tourism? Uh, yes, I do. I'm quite optimistic. I over the, over the last few years, we have seen good snowfalls in August and September. Last year, we had some good snowfalls in November and December of up to half a metre. So anything can happen. So in this game, you've got to be optimistic and you've got to be positive about it. Um, it, it can get quite depressing, um, but you've got to look to the future and you've got to be positive about it. Absolutely. That's a really good outlook. And look, speaking of the future... What does it look like? There has been some predictions that uh, it could become a regular problem uh, given the dryness of the winter seasons. Are you worried what the future might hold? Uh, yes and no. Look, I've, I've been in snowmaking since 94 and I view snowmaking as an insurance policy. Having uh, the ability to make snow and providing snow on the ground can certainly help us out as well. Uh, and as you can see on that shot up there, um, you know, we've, we've made a fair bit of snow there and it is it is around 20 to 30 centimetres there. We need a little bit more, but with the natural snow that we're actually coming up uh, over the next couple of days, we'll be definitely reopened again. 
So what would be your message then to eager skiers who want to come to uh, the Ben Lamond Alpine Resort? What would you say to them? Uh, once we're open, please come up and visit, visit us. Um, we, we love to see you up here all the time uh, and help support our business and grow our business into the future because the more visitors we get, the more uh, revenue we can turn over and then we reinvest, reinvest that back into our business and to grow the sport as well. So it's, it's a win-win for everyone. Absolutely, an important message. Ben Mock, thank you so much for joining us. All the best for the season. Thanks, Danica.